Hey Ernie, I got a quick question for you. What does the internet, GPS, cell service, radio, televisions, ATMs, power grids, and weather forecasting all have in common? Exactly, satellites. They all rely on satellites. So if someone wanted to destroy life as we know it by putting us in some sort of darkness void for all eternity, destroying all of our long distance communication, weather forecasting, and electricity, all they would have to do is take out our satellites. So it kind of makes sense to have some sort of organization that works on defending these satellites, right? Well, lucky for us, we do. And it's the United States Space Force. But that's not the only thing they do. I'm Don Stevenson, and this is Crash Course Episode 1. In this episode, we're going to talk about what the Space Force is and what it does. That's Earth, and that's the United States. Now this, that's Florida. Uh, it's, it's really nice this time of year. Right outside of Orlando, around the same spot where Cocoa Beach is located, is home to our very first Space Force specific installations. Cape Canaveral Air Force Station will now become Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. Patrick Air Force Base will become Patrick Space Force Base. On December 9, 2020, these historic Air Force installations were converted, accompanied by a lovely speech by Chief of Space Operations General John W. Raymond. Hold on, hold, hold on. I'm sure you've probably heard of NASA, SpaceX, and probably Blue Origin. And you've probably also watched the movies The Martian, Star Wars, Interstellar, and depending on how old you are, Galaxy Quest. All these movies do a fantastic job at creating these fantasy worlds we've all grown to love, but what if I told you that these fantasy worlds may not be too far away from reality? Well, I mean, seeing something like Jar Jar Binks may not be particularly probable. Okay, hopefully I didn't lose you yet. But seriously, traveling to different stars, planets, and galaxies, that's next on the list for human space exploration. The need for a space force has never been more important in the history of the United States than it is now. The number of satellites and just things we need to monitor in Earth's orbit, more specifically low Earth orbit known as LEO, is increasing really, really fast, and it's only gonna get really, really scary. In the 1950s, or what I like to call the dawn of the space age, there was maybe, I don't know, a handful of satellites rotating around the planet. Now, there are thousands. With over 27,000 pieces of debris orbiting around the Earth known as space junk, somebody has to monitor all these things, not to mention the teeny tiny little things that are traveling at about 15,700 miles an hour that can definitely not cause any harm to, oh, I don't know, a spacecraft or anything. That. That was sarcasm. The Department of Defense's Global Space Surveillance Network tracks all of these debris, and very soon, space is going to get even more crowded. So Donald Trump decided to hire a band of space marines to go out and shoot all these space debris into oblivion. Well, not actually, as we already discussed from those tiny, tiny bits, it would be more of a problem. Now you may be wondering, why do we need a space force when we already have NASA? Well, NASA is primarily focused on exploring space, while the Space Force's primary focus is defending it. That being the United States assets in space and how we conduct global space operations. Wars aren't just a thing of the past, and based on current events like the Russian invasion of Ukraine, they aren't slowing down either. The battle for land is a pretty scary battle. Now imagine these battles, but for space is space. Now in your head, you may have been imagining two giant spacecraft going head to head, but that's not what space warfare looks like, at, at least not right now. Late last year, Russia tested out these anti-satellite destroying weapon technologies that can have insanely catastrophic effects, not only by destroying satellites, but creating so much more of these tiny, tiny space debris. The space race has just begun, and to maintain superiority over other nations whose interests may be a little more harmful than helpful, the United States needs to stay vigilant against its competitors, and the establishment of an independent military branch focusing on the space domain is essential for America and democracy's future. The United States Space Force is a military service that organizes, trains, and equips space forces in order to protect U.S. and allied interests in space and to provide space capabilities to the joint force. The United States Space Force responsibilities will include developing guardians, acquiring military space systems, maturing the military doctrine for space power, and organizing space forces to present to our combat and commands. So what exactly does that mean? The Space Force deploys satellites. The Space Force protects our satellites. 
but they also provide space capabilities to the joint force. Space is an asset in military situations. Ever wonder how the government knows when another country tests out a super secret missile technology or how they were able to spy on our enemies so efficiently? Well, space is the ultimate high ground and our satellites are able to provide every military branch with incredible amounts of reconnaissance and intelligence. Space is a contested domain. The Space Force needs leaders to continue tomorrow's fight, especially because tomorrow's fight is only getting closer. We are responsible for creating the culture of the U.S. Space Force and clearly defining our needs to protect U.S.'s and our allies' assets in space. Now this honestly seems like a daunting task, especially if you're a college student to grasp. But remember, you are never alone. And the diversity of the Space Force will propel us forward. We're not just military personnel, ROTC or academy cadets, or soon to be OTS grads, but there are so many civilians in the Space Force who without them, the Space Force wouldn't be able to become the future. Whoever you are, I-5 is the place for you. Whether you want to gain a great understanding of the Space Force, or if you want to not only be a part of the future, but shape the future of the Space Force.